What's going on guys this is mass and welcome back to some more deadlock today we're finally playing lady geist who so far feels like a weird character to get used to man she feels like she's actually like decent um but also it's so hard to do like her whole shtick which is swap health bar and have it actually be valuable i feel like a lot of the time it's kind of a bait man <laughs> and i'm sure i need to get more time on her and stuff hopefully you can get some big poke on him there yeah, I'm sure I need to get more time on her and stuff. I feel like I get quite a few decent ults, but so often I feel like when I'm getting a decent ult, it, I just rather have a different ult, even though her ultimate's capable of crazy value. She's such a funky character. I do think her 3 2 1 is really strong, though, and I think that's probably something where early on when I first started learning the game, um, I thought Geist ult was insanely OP, and then now as I've gotten more used to the game, I think it's actually one of the weaker ults in the game, ironically, and part of that's just the cooldown on it. It's got a really long cooldown as well. So yeah, I probably should have been trying to block the Kelvin through there. I wasn't really thinking about it. I don't think it matters because I started to and he was just dying anyways, but probably something we should have looked for right there. See if he'll... Not quite. Yeah, if he wanted to peek out for me, he could get a little more poke there. I'm not sure what happened for him to get so punished right there. Not sure why he got quite that caught out. I mean, Kelvin 3 is annoying and all, but I, do, <laughs> I didn't realize he was in there. <laughs> have one of those. All right, let's get our... Oh, uh, we could go headshot booster, I suppose. That or restorative shot are both really good in the early game. Headshot booster is going to give us more pressure. Restorative shot is going to give us more sustain. So for anybody new to Geist, Geist is a weird character that sacrifices health, which partially plays into her ultimate, uh, and then also gives her potentially stronger abilities than she could. This guy should just be dying. What? Oh my god, he's maybe not dying. Let's see, if he'll ever come out of the shop, we can maybe punish him. Oh, let's get in here. There's one. Oh my god, there's almost two. Let me see if I can play the angle here. Because surely I would just leave, right? Like, I wouldn't stick around. That's so weird. I but I would stick around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. What a goofy gang. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. By the way, we don't have our boost right now. We are just going to back because I'm so low. And it looks like I think we missed the heal minion unless I was so low that the heal just barely did anything. Um... Yeah, we'll go get a bunch of items off that. So Geist has a lot of early game pressure if we can be landing our stuff, which so far we're mostly landing the stuff. I'm still getting used to our gun. Our gun feels really bad to me. I don't know if it just straight up is really bad. Um, I feel like it, I brought up in the Mirage video I just did that I thought Mirage gun feels relatively similar to Geist. It definitely shoots faster. I love Mirage gun. I hate Geist gun. I don't know if it's just the fire rate. I don't know if there's something else to it. it just feels wrong, man. I don't really mind it for minions either. I just feel like in PvP it feels so bad to me. If we can actually keep line of sight on him, we'll be able to land the two, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So the two is a siphon that eventually will silence. I level it fairly quickly. We put, I think, the first two points into the one. You can max the one all the way. The one's really strong to max. I just really like playing around the silence on the two, if we can. Um, and then the three, I think, is pretty, pretty undebatably. undebatably. I don't know why I couldn't get that out like the worst ability to max. I feel like it doesn't get too much value out of leveling. Ironically, you can hurt yourself more than you can harm them potentially by leveling it since you end up doing more damage to yourself at some point. Oh, we don't quite get that. That's too bad. I don't think I'm a bother. Can I aim? I don't think I'm a bother siphoning right now. I feel like he gets um probably around a corner fast enough. We don't get a ton of value there. Yeah, can I aim? That's a good question. All right, can maybe do something to this man. No, he's going to back it up. We'll try and just go for a little pressure on this tower and then back up ourselves. Maybe go get a T2. Not good things happening over in blue, it looks like. She's pretty behind me. I have ultimate. And I've had it for a little while now, uh, but he does not. I think we'll just go soul shredder bullets. We have enough pressure right now. I'm not really too worried about buying the last T1s here. Nice. We do get a yoink that. So normally with Geist 1, especially without Mystic Reach, it's going to be, are they ready for the one? Because uh, otherwise you're going to be tending to get, yeah, you guys want to get me low so I can ult? I got to not get too punished while we're stunned and then we can look for an ultimate in here. Come on, little more damage, thank you. There's one. I didn't think that would kill, to be honest. Let me int a little bit. Never mind, we just got the shiv follow-up. Nice, that was good. Yeah, we want to be eating damage, but not too much damage on Geist when we're looking for those ultimates. I know I, I dumpstered on Geist ult to, like, start the video, 
And then now I've gotten a valuable ultimate, but <laughs> that's that's not really early game. The ult feels pretty good. It's more so in the late game that a lot of time it gets clunky because a lot of time when you're getting that low, it's like, oh, I'm 1v4 and it just doesn't matter if you're doing if you're like switching health bars, you're just getting so punished anyways. I think we'll go lifesteal here so I can sustain back up. Mystic region sprint boots are actually really nice, but lifesteal on Geist is crazy. So one thing to talk about a little bit with the now wider map that came through in the recent Mirage update. Um, I think it's a lot more valuable than it already was, and I already thought it was crazy valuable to buy boots. I think everybody should probably buy boots. I already bought it on almost everybody, but like on Geist, for example, I was playing around with not getting it so that we could get an earlier... Oh, we didn't hit either of them with that, um. They just booked it at us so hard. I was hoping we could get an e early healing booster without needing flex slots, and it feels like you just need the movement too bad. So, highly recommend going sprint boots for the stage of the game where you're rotating at all. She's half. I think it's like a necessity. Not necessarily enduring boots, but also probably enduring boots almost every game. Sprint boots more important since it's so much value for the price. I'm just inting right now. I don't have ult. This is so bad. I absolutely should have been ulted and killed by Kelvin right there. I don't know why he didn't. I don't know if he thought I was cooking. If I had ultimate, if he, you know, maybe he thinks ultimate's a lower cooldown than it is. If I had ultimate, it could have been maybe good to bait Kelvin ult, but I don't remotely have it. It's such a long cooldown. And then because of that, playing the sustain game here would be pretty good. Getting those ones on the wave will be nice. Oh, I'm losing all these. Getting restorative shot bullets on, especially the actual heroes, because you get so much value, like value on the heroes. But see if we can actually life steal up. One thing that is a little bit awkward for Geist is I feel like when you're when you're bombing around minions at all for like sustain and stuff, it's very easy to end up missing out on uh, souls since your gun's so bad at securing. Ah! That was close. He went for the execute right there, which is really brutal, I'm assuming. Oh, I gotta disengage off the 7 ult. Oh, there's an Infernus here, so we're just dead. That's yeah, too bad. I think somebody might have said, I've heard these guys talk a little bit. I've been distracted. So somebody might have said that Infernus was missing right there, too. That's all right. Either way, it wouldn't have been great. We just, I honestly, the moment Kelvin ult came out, I kind of wanted to be there since Shiv literally ulted into the Kelvin ult. I should have just dipped. I think it just wasn't worth the risk. Like, we don't have to straight up abandon him. Let's actually boost since they're pushing this hard. We have three people here, too. And I got my ult back, finally. It's too bad he got so far there. That is all his stamina, but we're not getting any follow-up yet. Yeah, Lash doesn't quite have ultimate, unfortunately. That's too bad, man. So for anybody new to Geist, um, our three is a weird ability. We're sacrificing health and then dealing that damage to them and then amping our own damage by like 15%. And you can stack that up, I think, five times if I'm remembering right. So this is an ability where if you're getting enough damage over time, you can get a lot of value out of it. I am still not super used to it and I don't get enough value out of it. It's something where if you're getting more and more comfortable on Geist and you're just spamming this baby out and actually landing it, then over longer duration fights, you should be putting in absolute work try and create a little space from the Infernus ult. See if we can actually punish these guys at all. This shouldn't be a very good fight for him. Nice, decent damage on him. But I almost feel like I need a Quicksilver reload this game. I need more bullets. That's not something I normally have a, a problem with, but there's just such sustained trades going on. Oh my god, I am burning. Oh no, I might have to ult somebody. Yeah? You want some of that? You want some of that? You know what? Lifesteal's doing me dirty right now. I'm sustaining too much. Gotta keep my health bar low. That's pretty big damage. I think we get in here. Nice. Don't have to ult that. Hopefully we can get any peel for Kelvin, because right there I was not going to be able to find an ultimate. I'll see if he heals too much. I'll see if I can get a swap on him. No, not really. That would have been such a low value swap. Why am I getting beamed? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice. Huge follow-up from the boys. What? I died to after? I didn't think I even got afterburned. You gotta be kidding me. I don't get to do anything about it. We're just dead. I couldn't possibly. I would have gone for the ult on Infernus if there was any way we were going to be able to reach. There wasn't. Um, yeah, that just is what it is. That's okay. We got decent value in that fight, and we still got to keep our ultimate up, which is nice. So yeah, leveling order. I leveled a bomb a little bit for radius and damage, which is really good. The, the final rank is really good, but I really like the silence on the two. I feel like you could do a lot with that. Kinetic dash will be nice, so we get more mobility. I don't have boost, so I'm not going to go yellow. Otherwise, I'd actually look to go yellow there. Um, yeah, get some mobility. Spirit armor is really important because you do damage yourself with spirit damage. So you can also mitigate that damage with spirit armor. 
Um, I was messing around with building a stupid amount of spirit resist. I'm trying to remember. I think Mystic Reach before this patch had spirit resist and now it has bullet resist, which is unfortunate for guys. Um, one thing you can run into if you're buying a bunch of like small spirit resist items along with spirit armor is you do start getting some significant diminishing returns very, very quickly. So I had cold front in this build and I felt like I wasn't getting enough value out of the cold front proc that I took it out, even though cold front gives 10% spirit resist, which is pretty nice for guys since it's a lot of the damage you're dealing to yourself. See if we could ever get here. Pretty big damage. No, really big damage. Holy shit. Click on her. Punch. Okay, that man is zooming. Hopefully you can get a little bomb in there. Nice. Didn't do much though. Big swap. Okay, follow up someday would be good. Hopefully. Oh, we hit him. Nice. All right, I'm not going to greed their shop. <laughs> it was tempting, man. It was tempting. I'm trying to think. I think I could have swapped, turned around a little sooner and gotten a bomb on the ceiling. I was too worried about missing it and needing more damage than getting ganked because we easily could have been rotated on there. So I didn't really want to risk it too much. I guess entire improved spirit armor is actually pretty decent buy here. Let's see, let's actually take the uh, the path down here over to yellow. Although it's looking like we might not get to do much. Yeah, looking like we probably don't really get to do much. I'm going to go the safe way just in case. Oh, Shiv is rotating now. So we maybe get to do a little something if he gets in there. They didn't even take the orb? Okay, it's his. Fine. Fair enough. Oh, did not realize Yamato was coming back. Why did they not push harder if she's going to come back? It's kind of weird. We don't have ultimate for her, but I feel like I can sustain enough with the two if she actually gets bold and sees just, oh, she's so low and like runs at my face or maybe thinks, oh, she has no ultimate because like lifesteal is going to go crazy here. Um, Thank you. And then we are just straight up 2v1 if she wanted oh, it. This game was terrible. But it looks like she doesn't want it. True. All right, let me grab this. We don't quite have our, our one upgraded here. You can pretty much just delete any camp of the game once you get the one upgraded. It's really, really nice. Come on. Come on. If we get a flex slot, we can get a healing booster too, which is really strong, but we don't have that yet. Give me that. I don't think I get a safely. Oops. I don't think I get a safely go yellow here. Since they just did earn. Let's grab that and let's try and defend this just in case. Push that wave out. Because if we do go green and oh, anybody gosh, yellow. goes yellow, then yellow is just getting taken. So I think it's better that we rotate this way. Try and make sure we're not just losing our a walker for no good reason. I don't know. Is she farming over there? <laughs> what is he doing up there? He's just chilling in the jungle while they're diving. Nice. We're actually getting pretty good farm so far. Not normally particularly a big priority of mine with guys. But we got a lot of pressure with green in the early game. I haven't died too many times. Do not want to push this. I just want to make sure we're not losing our walker. All right. So bank we go. The build. Lots of vitality. Decent amount of spirit. One thing that's weird for guys is you can potentially be harming yourself quite a bit by going actual spirit power. Um, so a lot of the time I opt for proc value. Don't think he's really getting to do this. Hopefully I don't know why we didn't go harder on that. Okay. Unfortunate, man. Maybe he didn't have daggers. I feel like, uh, I feel like Shiv could have done a lot of guaranteed damage to him there if he didn't just dash through and dip. Like, he can dash through him, but I don't know. Daggers would have been good, unless they're down for some reason. Hopefully get a decent bomb here. Oh, we got a decent bomb there. Oh, baby. Keep stacking this three if we can. Actually, might get to do, if they'll stick around, might get to do quite a bit with that. Nah, just Kelvin. So we're going to be going Improved Burst pretty soon. Improved Burst is really gross with the bomb. You can do stupid amounts of damage with it. So that'll be a pretty big priority buy for us right now, since I'm getting so much poke value out of that ability right now. Geist is a weird character while, while um, even though you full commit really hard with the ultimate. They're walker on. Let's see. Like Probably get healing booster here. Oh, hi. Why are you here? Well, little, little yeet. Oh my God, he didn't even back off very hard. What is he doing? 
<laughs> this man was just on it mode right there. We just didn't have any people ready. Pocket was like slightly around, but I don't think he really gets a way to go on him there. And then I don't really have a way to full commit without just getting myself caught by Kelvin. Oh, I didn't expect Lash to get in there. He should be fine though. He's still around, man. Uh oh. Yeah, we didn't have the stamina there. That got a little bit awkward. We're chilling. There's just so many fights over green right now. They want this Guardian so bad. Which is actually a really good spot for Geist, because Geist is a pretty good... Not even pretty good. Geist is a ridiculously good defensive character. Not just with her ultimate. Her ultimate's, you know, pretty niche. Melee range. A lot of the time you might have a defending fight 1v4 or something and just not even ever actually be able to get, like, an ultimate that matters. But her 3 and her 1 are so spammable poke... Um, and a lot more reliable when you can force them to move a little bit. So normally when they're getting aggressive, they're going to be forcing themselves into certain movement. Where's got Veilwalker, huh? Unless he has straight up Shadow Weave. I'm assuming that was Veilwalker. Shadow Weave would be weird as hell right now. I don't think that's quite going to reach now. If we had improved reach for some reason, which I don't think is worth, then it could. Nice, we actually got the poke from here. Nice! Let's see, I think we go rotate on this Infernus here and then look to do Urn. I'm coming over. Come here, give me the silence. Nice. 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 That actually pro- Oh no! <laughs> I'll take- I'll take the bag. If I have to, I'll take an easy bag. That's too bad. Oh, apparently Infernus had a bag too. I didn't see that. Unfortunate, man. I don't think I really could have done much more for her there. She was just getting really low really fast. All right, hopefully Pocket will defend green here because it looks like Ray's looking to push that. He's in perfect position, too. Headed to blue. Headed to Greenwich. Hopefully he'll defend that, please. Pocket, please don't let her do it. Brother. Brother. That's the last Guardian, man. Okay, he actually went away from it. All right, that's tragic for us. Just here. Gun. Hopefully we can actually turn the urn, and I think they're going to rotate on it really hard here. For now, it seems to be just Yamato. By the way, there's a bug with urn right now, so there's, uh, yeah, there's orbs right there that are, like, fake orbs. I guess the silence won't really do shit. I was going to pop it on her. Yeet! That's not where she went. <laughs> I figured we could get a crazy one right there. Please let me up. Try and actually help out the moment this goes down. Come on, let me add him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we get so much burst off that 2-1. Okay, I've got a stupid amount of souls to spend. I think we're maybe going to push up purple anyways, though, because I don't have much of a bag to worry about. And I think they're going to be really temporarily distracted. I also can't tell. I feel like it's really hard to see Walker HP right now. I can't tell if I'm tripping. I thought it looked like half for a second, but it might literally be full. I don't know if I'm like mildly colorblind. Yeah, it is full. I've had a few games recently where it's like, <laughs> it's so hard for me to tell what the actual walker HP is. By the way, the three does stack the actual, uh, stack your damage on turrets too. I guess I shouldn't call them turrets on objectives too. All right, we can get a bunch of different tier fours if we want. I think improved burst is gonna feel more valuable. So I think we're looking at improved burst. We don't have this, what am I thinking? Um, let's just zip line. Zip line boost, I mean. Probably do improved burst superior cooldown. Should be able to afford it. Get that, get probably bomb upgraded. I guess definitely bomb upgraded. I've messed with upgrading the two. I feel like the two is such an inconsistent ability that even though even though it's capable of doing a lot and it has a really long cooldown, so it's nice to make that cooldown as short as possible. It's so inconsistent. Whereas bomb is insanely consistent. It's such a good ability. Probably not controversial take. Bomb is the only reason Geist is a good character at all. Although, also, you could argue she's not a good character, because I'm pretty sure statistically she's the worst um, <laughs> in terms of, like, win rate. But, like, aside from that, Geist would just be ass if it wasn't for how good Bomb was. Uh, I guess we gotta defend purple here. It's actually gonna get shoved by a big wave. I don't have much I gotta buy anyways. Would be nice to get Enduring Speed, though, since they've got the Kelvin slow. And the Mirage slow. And the Seven slow. They got a lot of slows, actually. So far, I just haven't really been punished by him. There aren't more minions, right? It looked huge on the map. There aren't more minions. 
I'm just losing it. Yeah, now that we get the one fully upgraded, we get that dot that gets left on the ground, yeah, and that's really strong. Okay, seems like big fight on the way. We're definitely gonna rotate to that. I am not much of a split pusher. Bro, I need like, I need a new keyboard, man. I swear so often, I won't actually be pressing my key in, and it'll like diagonally move me. Um, Cause like the key's still coming unpressed. This is the first game where it's felt like it matters to me. Cause I don't really play the movement games. Get a little silence on him, nice. Can probably look for mid off of this. Dead as hell. Should we just go mid? Yeah, probably just go mid. Anki, get my bag. Get my bag, bro. Get the bag! That's for you. Get the bag! God, fights are going ridiculously well now. I feel like for a while this game was feeling really close, and now they're just kind of throwing. <laughs> they just can't team fight to save their lives, man. I feel like they're never fully grouped. Like, our team will actually rotate pretty well. We haven't really had an issue with it. And then normally their team is only going to have, like, three people tops at the same time. Looks like we're good. Give me that. Thank you. Coming to you. There's Yamato on here. All right. Let's... Ooh, warp stone would be pretty nice. She's backing up. Like, yeah, I think we just go enduring. Ooh, that's convenient. No, she don't. Yeah, I think like slow immune, not slow immune, slow reduction. Slow, slow. So important right now that we probably should have gone that instead. But we get convenient money. Nice, really good game so far. Eight to eight on the Geist. Haven't really died since like ten minutes in. I think. I don't think those deaths were bad from what I can remember either. All right, if we end up actually getting. Oh, please let me silence her so she doesn't get a card. If we eat enough damage, we can just go, I wanted the punch! There's a punch. There we go. Is there like crazy? No way, right? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, come here. Thank you. Okay, stop. It hurts. We get in here. Okay, surely she doesn't get to do this, right? No. Let's go take a shrine. I can't believe I talk shit on Geisel this game. Because, like, this game, I've gotten nothing but value out of it. I haven't been baited by it a single time. <laughs> I haven't had a single spot where it's like, oh, no, it's not going to do anything. No, it's going to do so much. But honestly, with my overall experience, I think I tend to get pretty decent ults on her. And it's just there are a lot of a lot of games where if we're not winning harder like this, then it can definitely feel bad. Oh, we can siphon this. I wasn't sure. I guess I don't know why we wouldn't be able to, because I know you can do it off towers and stuff. All right, he's looking for it. We'll just dip on out. There we go. Now that the stun's over, should just be a dead boy. Yeah? Oh, he didn't get it. Uh, well, she just got out of that, like, entirely. Oh, is that not an upgraded Wraith ult? Let's see if we can actually get in here and do things. Oh my god, please die, please die, please die, thank you. No, I'm feeling the PV. Did that not hit you, man? The bag! Oh my god, come here. No, we don't get a killer, whatever. We'll end, I suppose. I wanted to pop off right there. I almost got ult back up right there. Nice, solid guys game in, 12, 2, and 10. Yeah, she's been somebody so far where she feels very fun to play from ahead, reasonably fun to play from like a middle ground, and then miserable to play from like super far behind. Whenever you're having one of those games where your team's getting pretty slaughtered and you need to be on like a playmaker character like Hayes and just get like a crazy ult, Geist is like the farthest possible thing from it in the game. She might be, she might legitimately be, well, probably not the worst character for it, because surely the worst character would be like Kelvin or something. Actually, God, it might not even be Kelvin. I was just thinking like, if your team is just getting dumpstered, how does just dome plus three plus gun damage carry it? But, but it's so hard with guys to like just straight up delete a team entirely. You just get a lot of overall pressure out of her. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of impact this game. A lot of healing as well. That's normally, that's going to be pretty common. If we were getting more sustained fights too, this number would have been absolutely stupid because there's a lot of lifesteal in this build. But a lot of the time I was actually starting fights from a reasonably healthy point to begin with.
But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.